patenting the sun or history of the vaccine. Although the disease appeared long ago and was discovered in ancient Egypt, by the middle of the last century, polio epidemics had become a nightmare for parents and authorities in the United States, Europe, Asia and Africa. Today, this disease is remembered in connection with the vaccination for children. Anyway, few people know the names of the scientists who created the vaccines that beat the disease and abandoned patenting, although they could have made millions of dollars. The scientists who donated their vaccine to humanity are named Jonas Salk and Albert Sabin. Throughout this article, we will talk about the interesting history of the creation of vaccines against a disease that no longer exists. Poliomyelitis, which is also commonly known as polio, is caused by a virus and mainly affects children under five years of age. This is a dangerous disease that causes paralysis of the legs and sometimes of the respiratory muscles. 10% of people died from it and 40% became disabled. Poliomyelitis was a disease of middle and upper class families. The wealthiest parents could not protect their children from the disease. After the first deadly epidemic in 1916, which was officially announced in New York, outbreaks of the disease began to occur regularly in Canada, Europe, Russia, and were a source of constant fear for parents for their children who might be paralyzed. One of the victims of this epidemic was the future US President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. To fight this disease, Roosevelt organized the National Polio Endowment and radio host Eddie Cantor asked the Americans, send a dime to the president at the White House. 40,000 envelopes with coins were received on the first day. In total, the Roosevelt Foundation collected 7 billion coins. The foundation funded scientific research while more than a million American teenagers were selling peanuts on the streets to raise funds for the fight against polio. All these facts eloquently show the danger of the disease and the efforts of the entire society to combat it. Several scientists worked on the development of vaccines. The first vaccine for mass vaccination was created by Jonas Salk. He worked at the University of Pittsburgh and received a grant from the National Infant Paralysis Foundation in 1948. In 1950, he created a prototype of a vaccine, tested it on himself and his family members, and later announced the successful creation of a vaccine. After extensive testing, 80 to 90% efficiency of the vaccine was announced. During a live broadcast directly at the conference, Scientists announced that polio had been defeated. This created a large celebration in America. Church bells were ringing in cities, factories were ringing, classes were cancelled in schools, and people were just going out to share their joy with passers-by. In 1955, mass vaccination of children began in America, and Jonas Salk became a national hero. His vaccine did really help, but when many children were injured due to a manufacturing defect in a batch of vaccines, the process was stopped. After that, in America, the vaccine production control algorithm was significantly strengthened, but people began to fear vaccination. At the same time, Albert Bruce Sabin was working on the development of his vaccine. It was Sabin who managed to establish that the digestive tract is the gateway for infection. This discovery revolutionized the approach to vaccine development. He was developing a different type of vaccine that could be taken by mouth. Sabin's vaccine was administered as a liquid, which the patient had to swallow. Like Salk, Albert Sabin tested the vaccine on his daughters. Although Sabin's vaccine was effective and cheap, he was unable to obtain approval for mass production. Sabin believed in his vaccine and was desperately looking for a place to apply it. He had the opportunity to experience the vaccine from a completely unexpected side. At this time, scientists from the Soviet Union were also working on the creation of a vaccine, 
because the problem with the disease was also very serious. During the visit of Soviet scientists to the United States at one of the conferences, Albert Sabin received an offer to test the vaccine in the USSR. Realising that his vaccine on one-sixth of the Earth was his big chance, Sabin did not hesitate for long. Vaccine trials in the USSR had another indisputable advantage. The country had its own school of virology and developed a pharmaceutical industry. According to the results of a mass trial, the vaccine was improved and serial production was launched. The World Health Organization recognized the effectiveness of the vaccine, and in 1961, Sabin's vaccine was recognized in America. Jonas Salk and Albert Sabin saved thousands of children around the world, but they both refused to patent or profit from their vaccines, even though they could have made millions of dollars. According to Salk, their philosophy was, you can't get a patent on the sun. According to WHO estimates, around 500,000 deaths were prevented with the help of the polio vaccine, and 5 million people did not become disabled. Now, this is a forgotten disease. Many parents are happy, even without knowing its name and the danger that the disease poses to their children. <laughs>